Cairn has established an attractive uh, proposition for investors, we believe. We have an exciting frontier operated program that's about to commence, uh, balanced by our North Sea mature basin position and also our strength in terms of our cash resources. The transformational portfolio uh, will access a number of game-changing wells in a number of different geographies with similar geologies across the Atlantic margin, whether that's Senegal, whether that's Morocco, whether that's Greenland. In each case, we have large acreage positions which give us follow-on potential in the event of success. And of course, the fiscal terms of these frontier regions mean that if we find va barrels, they're valuable barrels. I think the attractiveness of our overall position in the Atlantic margin, the frontier place, is demonstrated by the recent entry of Conoco into our Senegalese acreage. The North Sea forms an important part of our balanced portfolio. It will provide the eventual cash flow generation that will sustain our exploration-led activities. Uh, we chose the North Sea mature basin position for a number of reasons. First of all, we saw attractive opportunities. But secondly, we know that we can trade in and out as we reshape and rebalance that portfolio to get it optimally positioned for us. And the transactions that we've announced today show that we continue to hone, to refine, to shape that portfolio optimally. But eventually, it will provide cash flow to fund our frontier exploration activity. Cairn's always been very focused on being financially flexible. We've got a strong balance sheet, approximately one and a half billion in cash and a further billion dollars in our Cairn India shareholding value. That allows us to pursue all of our transformational exploration and all of our ongoing activity in the North Sea. But coupled to that, we remain very focused on financial discipline and ensuring we have the right level of equity exposure against the right balance of capex.